A Braidwood landmark for more than a century, Len Mutton & Co has been in Fiona Mutton's family since 1913. But after the black summer bushfires and the COVID pandemic, she fears that legacy may finish with her. There's very little left in reserves uh, to, to go forward with, so we're really hoping that spring was going to be, um, you know, good trade for us. Those hopes now all but dashed by news, the King's Highway will be closed around the Clyde Mountain from 8am to 4pm Monday to Thursday from the end of this month until mid-November, with some 400 trees along the road to the south coast to be removed due to bushfire damage. I understand the work needs to be done, but the midweek closure and no community consultation, like it's just not unbelievable. Fiona says she only became aware of the impending closure in the past few days, and she's not alone. We weren't consulted, we found out by just rumour initially and then chased it up ourselves is pretty disappointing. The Braidwood Business Chamber suggests closing the road for fewer days but working for longer hours would soften the blow. Some businesses here close down because we have reduced travellers on you know, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We believe extended hours through those, through, through those days could be useful. Transport for New South Wales says it consulted with local councils and emergency services to balance the impact on communities with getting the job done efficiently. In a statement, Regional Director South Sam Knight says carrying out the repairs out of business hours would mean an unacceptable safety risk if the work was carried out at night. And the benefits of an eight-hour full road closure include work being completed more efficiently and in a shorter time frame. The Yerubadala Shire Council argues extending the time period for the work would see it spill into the Christmas and summer holidays, impacting already beleaguered businesses at their most important time of year. But local state member Deputy Premier John Barillaro says he'll push for the closure to be reduced to just two days per week and look at support for struggling businesses. Meanwhile, the road closure is set to begin on August the 30th. Harry Frost, ABC News, Braidwood.